welcome to the Sprint One demo uh, for the Exhibits work cycle. Uh, I'm going to be starting demoing some of the things that we've done in this past um, uh, past Sprint. So a lot of our work has um, focused on updating uh, Exhibits or Spotlight at Stanford to uh, the latest alpha release of Spotlight. So we've done that and we've started to um, notice some new things that need to be updated in Spotlight. So one thing that we worked on this uh, past sprint was uh, updating uh, some of this uh, code where we can reorder pages, or reorder things in widgets, things like that, um, to be compatible with Bootstrap 4. Um, we've also done a lot of work on other areas of um, uh, feature page editing um, and the uh, uh, curator dashboard. Uh, some of these things have kind of been missed um, being updated in uh, Spotlight, and so we were able to use this uh, use this sprint to focus on um, enhancing a lot of that work. Um, we've also uh, implemented uh, the Stanford uh, kind of theming and styling uh, within uh, Blacklight 7 and Bootstrap 4 with latest version of Spotlight. So we have things like the responsive uh, footers working, uh, responsive headers, all the buttons kind of working uh, correctly. You can even see some uh, updated buttons, um, button icons coming from uh, the upstream gems that have been updated. And then just even things like uh, links having the cardinal red uh, display, facet selection, um, card area highlighting, uh, facet backgrounds, things like that. So these are all kinds of things that we've been uh, tweaking and uh, working on um, getting more in line with the Stanford uh, styling through this sprint. And now I'll turn it over to Jesse. Uh, thanks. Uh, so uh, in addition to uh, some of the things that Jack just mentioned, um, and as Jack mentioned, we're in the process of updating uh, Bootstrap and Blacklight. I did want to call out some of the bugs that we might not necessarily demo, uh, but were worked on uh, fixes for this week that uh, were either made easier by or just outright fixed by upgrading some of our dependencies. Um, or there was some work done in our upstream dependencies to address these bugs, and we will see them uh, shipping out to production as we were able to roll the, uh, these changes um, that Jack just kind of showed out to production. And some of those uh, include some issues that we were having with empty values showing up in facets, um, some strange behavior around editing non-English home pages in exhibits, um, as well as dealing with some bugs around cache news that was affecting page navigation in some exhibits. Um, things that I would like to show you in this demo uh, is, uh, again, not things that might not necessarily be available in production as of the recording of this video, but when we have all these uh, updates rolled out into production, these will be available. Um, and one of these improvements is the ability to um, now have the date range facet a display show up on a home page. Uh, this was able to be on search results pages before, but uh, due to some issues was not able to uh, be on a home page of an exhibit. So as you can see now, um, I have a date range showing up on a home page. Uh, another improvement that was made uh, is the ability to uh, have um, text hit highlights for our objects that are not OCR XML, um, but actually plain text OCR. Um, this is an example of uh, one of these um, documents where in production right now, um, the word council happens to show up in metadata, but we would not see this section that has search for council in document text, nor the highlights um, that are there. So now in exhibits, we can um, see this. And um, this matches more the behavior that our image viewer and our content search um, feature has where uh, this object is obviously content searchable, but in exhibits it was not. So these, uh, the behavior of these two environments will now be uh, more closely matching for uh, plain text OCR. 
Uh, another improvement um, that we made that you will end up seeing on the, the dashboard uh, is some changes to the date formats uh, that are here. Um, so based on some feedback that we received, uh, this now includes the, uh, a, a longer form of the date um, that I think importantly includes the year uh, of the indexing run. And you might see this change um, or some change date formats in some other places uh, as well. Um, the last thing that I'd like to show today is actually not something that uh, I'm going to show in exhibits, but is uh, based on some work that was done in exhibits. Um, so this is a, a search works record for an item in the uh, one of the Bob Fitch um, collections. This uh, collection and th this particular item is uh, indexed into an exhibit uh, in our staging environment. Um, so what you can see down here now is a new block on this page. Uh, that indicates that this item is featured in an exhibit. Um, if I were to uh, click on this link, it will actually take me uh, to that exhibit, to this item directly. Um, and so I can see in context um, where this item exists. Uh, if this item were to exist in multiple exhibits, uh, multiple exhibits would, would, would show up there. Um, in addition to that, uh, any, if any item is in a particular collection, so as you can see here, I am now on a collection page. Um, regardless of whether this collection itself were indexed into an exhibit or not, the fact that an item from this exhibit exists, or sorry, an item from this collection exists in an exhibit, uh, I'm presented on the collection page also with an exhibits block uh, that indicates that uh, there are items from this collection featured in particular exhibits. Um, kind of one differing uh, beha behavior here is that when I click on this item, because it is the collection, I'm just dropped off to the home page of the exhibit uh, because we can't necessarily guarantee um, that that collection does actually exist or is not marked as private, which is often the case uh, of what users do with the collection objects in, in our exhibits. Um, so uh, in discussion, we decided that it, the best behavior here might be to uh, just drop the user off and onto the home page and allow them to then um, search from there. I believe that that's all we have for this demo. Uh, we hope to have more next week.